upcoming video, we were very busy in the month of April 2011. Not only did we complete a 737 Airworthiness Directive emergency visit for one of our clients, we did that while we were doing a cabin reconfiguration and entry into service on a Boeing 777, as well as a complete cabin reconfiguration on a 747-400, all while we were delivering three A320s that we had been working on in the prior months. So it was a very, very busy month. Seven four seven four hundred, one of the largest commercial aircraft in service today. We're really proud that our client agreed to send their aircraft to us, but in preparation for their visit, we had to make sure that the aircraft would fit in the hangar. With a 215-foot wingspan, this is one of the largest aircraft out there, and our hangar luckily can accommodate up to 220 feet, so we were able to get it in and get the work done on time, on budget. This aircraft came to us from halfway around the world and the customer in this case doesn't need the full complement of first and business class seats. They operate an all economy operation. So what they've had us do involves three or four aspects of, of critical importance to be able to deliver an all economy airplane. Uh, the first being the seats. Uh, we removed the business class seats. We had to replace the existing first class seats with regular economy seats which they had sent us from a retired aircraft in the desert. So we refurbished those seats. Uh, they've now been installed in this aircraft. We were able to procure compatible in-flight entertainment system for the audio portion of the in-flight entertainment and install it in those seats. For the video portion, they didn't need a complex system as exists in the rest of the aircraft. So we were able to adapt a video solution for them that involved installing strategically located 17 and a half inch high definition monitors so that the majority of the economy class passengers in the new section of the aircraft can watch the basic video that's being shown to the rest of the aircraft. Many of our customers use some form of in-flight entertainment on their aircraft. Whether it's a legacy seatback video that just shows one movie at a time, or the latest video on demand system run by a head-end server offering multi layers of movies and television. Today's airline passenger is demanding more and more from the airline companies that they choose. Avionor has gained a lot of experience reconfiguring, redesigning, augmenting, and modifying a lot of these video systems. As such, we've developed a high level of expertise in the latest uh, IFE technology that's on board commercial aircraft today. When setting out to do a project of this magnitude, it's really impossible to be able to do it and turn the airplane in 30 days unless you do your homework first. To that end, we work very closely with our customer. We sent our team of technicians, engineers and designers halfway around the world to survey the aircraft over a four-day period. With that information in hand, we were able to prepare the engineering, understand what we needed to do to complete this modification on time and on budget. What business is Avian or in? And I have to say, the answer I most often give is customer service. We work on aircraft as small as A320s and 737s, right up to the 747-400 that we're standing in right now. But ultimately, none of these customers would be coming to us if we didn't, as a team, make them all feel special, make them the center of our attention while they're here, and before and after, when they leave, support them with any issues that might arise. So one of the strengths in the products that we offer is our turnkey solution, offering engineering certification, design, parts procurement, aircraft modification, cabin interior reconfiguration, all on one purchase order, all with one visit. We handle everything up to a C check or a D check as the customer requires. So we look at our customers as partners once we've entered into a contract with them. 
We work together in a cooperative, team-like fashion to help the project succeed because ultimately we have our eyes on the same goal, on-time delivery of the aircraft to get it back in service. Not only was April busy, the entire year has been busy for Avianor up until now, end of August, and we're booked out until the first quarter of 2012 as it stands today. So we have to thank all of you, our customers, for showing confidence in us, and I personally have to thank our team for continuing to meet the challenge of all these projects that we keep presenting. Um, we're known for doing the impossible, we're known for taking on projects that might not seem that obvious as far as the solution goes, and we're really proud that we've been able to succeed and deliver all these different types of projects to our clients.